solve sine of z equal to cos hyperbolic 4. So we need to get the solutions for z, right? Where z is a complex number. This is very, very important and expected question. So sine z equal to cos hyperbolic 4. Where z is belonging to the complex number. We know that cos hyperbolic z is equal to e the power z plus e the power negative z divided by 2. Right? So, cos hyperbolic 4 is equal to e the power 4 plus e the power negative 4 divided by 2. But this is your real number. Right? This is real number. So, I can take this value to be as, let's say, a. So, let cos hyperbolic 4 is equal to a. Let me mark this given equation to be as star. So from star, we get sine of z to be equal to a, right? Now, how can I write sine of z? It is e the power iota z minus e the power negative iota z divided by 2 iota equal to a. That further implies e the power iota z minus e the power negative iota z is equal to 2 iota a, right? So this implies e the power iota z minus, I can write this as 1 divided by e the power iota z equals to 2 iota a. So that is e the power 2 iota z minus 1 equals to 2 iota a into e the power iota z. Taking this to the other side, we get e the power 2 iota z minus 2 iota a into e the power iota z minus 1 equals to 0. Let e the power iota z is equal to y, marking this equation as 1. Then we get y square minus 2 iota a into y minus 1 equals to 0. Getting the roots of y. So y is equal to 2 iota a plus minus square root of 4 iota square a square plus 4 divided by 2. So this is equal to 2 iota a plus minus taking square root of 4 common. We get this to be as 2 square root of, okay, iota square a square is negative a square plus 1. Let me write this as 1 minus a square divided by 2. So this becomes iota a plus minus square root of 1 minus a square. And what we have taken y to be as? e the power iota z and this is e the power iota z equal to iota okay what we have taken a to be equal to we have taken a to be equal to cos hyperbolic 4 right so writing here cos hyperbolic 4 plus minus square root of 1 minus cos hyperbolic square 4 so this is equal to iota cos hyperbolic 4 plus minus all right Using the identity that cos hyperbolic square a minus sine hyperbolic square a is equal to 1. So 1 minus cos hyperbolic square a is equal to negative sine hyperbolic square a. So writing here negative sine hyperbolic square 4. So this is equal to iota cos hyperbolic 4 plus minus this becomes iota sine hyperbolic 4. So let's take iota common from this. So we are getting cos hyperbolic 4 plus minus sine hyperbolic 4. So this becomes iota cos hyperbolic 4. That is e the power 4 plus e the power negative 4 divided by 2 plus minus e the power 4 minus e the power negative 4 divided by 2. Now two cases arises. First case, if e the power iota z is equal to iota e the power 4 plus e the power negative 4 divided by 2 plus e the power 4 minus e the power negative 4 divided by 2. Solving this first. So this is equal to iota. If I add these two terms, I get these two cancelled out and I get e the power 4. So this is iota e the power 4. For the second case, if I take e the power iota z to be equal to iota into e the power 4 plus e the power negative 4 divided by 2 minus e the power 4 minus e the power negative 4 divided by 2 
On subtracting these terms, I get iota into these two cancelled out and I get e to the power negative 4, right? So let's take the case 1 first. When e to the power iota z is equal to iota e to the power 4. So writing this as iota z equal to log of iota e to the power 4 and that is equal to applying the first result. So this is log of mod of iota e to the power 4 plus iota argument of iota e to the power 4. This is the general argument. So this is equal to log of, alright, mod of iota e to the power 4 is equal to square of the real part plus square of the imaginary part under the root. So that is equal to square root of e to the power 8. So that becomes again e to the power 4. So this is e to the power 4 plus iota. Using the second result that argument of z is equal to 2 n pi plus principal argument of z. So this is iota into 2 n pi plus principal argument of iota e to the power 4. Where n belongs to the set of integers. So this is equal to log of e to the power 4 can be written as 4 log of e. So that becomes 4 only plus iota 2n pi plus. Now calculating the principal argument of iota e to the power 4. Please note that the principal argument of a iota is equal to pi by 2. If a is positive and is equal to negative pi by 2 if a is negative. So here e to the power 4 is positive. So by this note, we write here pi by 2, where n belongs to the set of integers. On the left hand side, we are having iota z. So now just dividing both the sides by iota to get the value of z. So this is 4 divided by iota plus 2n pi plus pi by 2, where n belongs to the set of integers. I can multiply and divide by iota here. So iota square becomes negative 1. So this is minus 4 iota. So this is the set of solution for first case. Right? Similarly, we can get the solution for the second case. So case 2, when e to the power iota z is equal to iota e to the power negative 4. In that case, we are getting z equal to positive 4 iota plus 2n pi plus pi by 2 where n belongs to the set of integers. So these are the another set of solutions for the given equation. So we are getting one set of solutions to be as positive 4 iota plus 2 n pi plus pi by 2 where n belonging to the set of integers or another set of solutions to be as negative 4 iota plus 2 n pi plus pi by 2 where n belongs to the set of integers. Alright, thank you. Stay blessed.